we have a clear confirmation on the fantastic potential we have in the context of building. And our present installation in terms of heating and cooling in particular are completely obsolete, 80% of them. Accordingly, we should push modernization process in that regard. The European Parliament and the Council are currently revising the Energy Performance of Buildings Directive. This is the opportunity to make our regulatory framework future-proof. A priority is to unlock the potential that lies in the controls of energy flows inside buildings and to reap the benefits of smart technologies. Technical building systems is the technologies that provide heating, cooling, ventilation, lighting and domestic hot water. Technical building systems have a huge savings potential in terms of energy consumption, energy cost and also CO2 emissions. As to the percentage that we could save when we're talking about average savings that we can achieve in the buildings that we touch until 2030, we are talking about 30%. In terms of money, we are talking about up to 67 billion euros annual savings in energy builds. We have the technology and the solution available. Fixing the basics, which is about putting thermostatic valves on our radiators. We know that more than 500 million radiators don't have a thermostatic valve, just a simple valve. And we know also that 90% of residential buildings today don't have a hydronic balancing valve for comfort. The people uh, need more information, then they can act and they will be surprised how much energy cost they can save. We have a capacity to accelerate and our vision is to finish in 2050 with a real decarbonized building stock in Europe. This is our new priority and this will be promoted and supported in the context of a new performance building directive. I think uh, buildings and building efficiency is a cornerstone in this whole debate. What we think needs a strong push is that the Commission uses the revision of the EPBD to actually enforce uh, the implementation of this uh, Article 8 and also give a bit more guidance to the Member States on how to actually exploit the savings potential that lies in the optimization of technical building systems. Smart buildings is beginning with connected products and that's what we believe we are bringing in Danfoss. As the basic level, we are connecting our solution and then this building would become part of a digital energy ecosystem, enabling a better demand response, enabling users to reduce their energy and enabling finally Europe to decrease energy overall consumption.